इट इज़ द सेवेंथ ऑफ जून सिक्स पी एम एंड आई हैव डिसाइडेड नॉट टू यूज माई इंस्टाग्राम और अदर सोशल मीडिया अकाउंट्स फॉर सेवन डेज नोइंग माई सेल्फ आई ओपन इंस्टाग्राम एवरी फाइव टू टेन मिनट्स वेन आई एम नॉट एट वर्क एंड दस जस्ट बिकॉज It's a habit, you know. You open the app, you see some stories, see some reels. I noticed myself uh, using social media a lot recently, so much so that even in my free time, when I can rest and sleep, I decide to scroll on the explore page and watch something completely random. So to begin with this, I am going to upload a picture on Instagram, which I haven't in a very long time. and uh, usually when i upload something i am constantly checking on how well it is performing and i know it's going to drive me nuts to upload something and then not check my instagram at all there's like 3 minutes left to 12 and uh, i don't know i'm feeling anxious how am i going to survive this i can't live without instagram uh maybe i'm being too dramatic uh maybe my periods are due i don't know but i'm going to miss you instagram bye it's end of day 1 and i'm finally back home from work i had a very long day and i had a lot of tempting moments like when i woke up when i reached work when i had a break and uh, when i finished work when i came home i just wanted to open instagram and scroll through and see what's going on i might have opened instagram honestly three or four times but i swear i did not look i just swiped up and just closed the app if you watched social dilemma you'd actually know how these apps are created to be so tempting and you know have this habit and urge and this addiction to see your social media i don't know if i was having withdrawal symptoms or if i uh, i think that would be an extreme extremely dramatic scenario but i was i was having like a very bad migraine today i don't know if i didn't sleep well or if it was me not using social media at all i'm going to try and read a book before i go to sleep and uh, i will see you tomorrow it's day 3 i just woke up i have a slight cold uh, which is why i sound like that and initially when i started this experiment slash vlog uh i expected myself to be reading and doing something much more productive uh wh- while not using social media but turns out i have just been using that time to sleep yes i sleep a lot because my life is basically just work and sleep that's it work eat sleep uh, on day 2 i almost opened my instagram and i saw my screen for like one second and i was so tempted to just scroll down and you know what's the harm and i was like it'll spoil the whole experiment so i just closed the app locked my screen and put my phone away for good i can't wait for these 7 days to be over it's uh, it's end of day 4 and i have just gotten home from work uh it's 1:24 am because i have no bangs anymore all my um hair is getting pulled from the front to the back because of all the weight and that's making me lose a lot of hair in the front i am anyways blessed with a very big forehead um some people say it's very lucky and uh, that's why i finally have decided to chop chop my hair Look at that. It's not much. But I think I did a good job. So I will quickly clean up my mess before my mom starts yelling at me 
and then I'll go to bed. I've got work and it's Saturday tomorrow. Nobody's off in the hospitality industry as we all know it, especially on weekends. I have a very, very long day ahead of me. So I will go to sleep as soon as possible right now. Good night. It's day 6, 3.30 p.m. And I woke up an hour ago, freshened up, did some yoga, and now I'm having breakfast. I made some sweet potatoes, tossed in garlic butter, and a pinch of salt. So yeah, life without social media mm, is not bad. First three days was the most difficult. Like, it was just a habit where I really wanted to open the apps and scroll through. But the past two days, I haven't, like, even bothered to look at my phone unless it was WhatsApp where I get all my um, work updates. I'm so happy that I am not crippled by social media and that I can survive without it. I thought that today would be the most difficult day, it being my off but it's just the beginning of the day and let's see how it goes i plan on finishing this bowl of yummy sweet potatoes while um, doing some productive work i have successfully completed seven days without social media of course my exceptions uh, were whatsapp and clubhouse let's take a look at how much i've been using my phone in the past week this was monday and this was the last day i um used Instagram and Messenger and everything else. Uh, the next day or Tuesday is look at that. Look at that. Previously I've used like Instagram for three hours, 44 minutes, one hour, 29 minutes, 46 minutes. And this week I haven't opened Instagram at all. Look at that. Over here on Monday 14th of June, I was off. So yes, I watched more of Netflix and a bit of Pinterest, but nowhere can you see Facebook and WhatsApp. I am so proud of myself. I really thought I would be missing social media more but I think I've got a strong willpower and maybe this detox was necessary. I needed a break from unrealistic expectations and fake people and just negative things in the world. And I wanted to take a look at the world outside my phone, which I successfully managed to complete. I'm finally going to use my Instagram after seven days. Let's see. Ooh, it's nice. Wow, hundred. Okay, a lot of messages and reposts. I can't believe I got 14, 15 more subscribers while I was not active on Instagram. But that's super cool, yo. I will post a story now because I want to update everyone that I'm back. Let's look at Facebook. Here we go. It's my, oh, it's my mother. My mom just recently got vaccinated. So, super proud of her. And there we go. Okay, more notifications, which is fine. Really, I thought I would be more excited, but... Previously, I thought that as soon as it would hit midnight, I would be excited to open my phone and, you know, just check everything. Um, but really, it's not a big deal. I mean, I didn't really miss out on much. I completed all my sleep. It's 12.45 a.m. and uh, I reached home about two minutes ago. I haven't even changed. My work bag is still here. I will go and freshen up now and get ready for bed. I will definitely complete this video in the morning. What I've learned this week is that our generation is so messed up. It's all about TikTok trends and Instagram reels.
don't get me wrong it's a great source of entertainment and maybe even a career but building all these dreams and sometimes unrealistic expectations and really not putting any effort into it is just a waste of time life has so much more to offer than we actually acknowledge we're so inclined towards instant gratification like instant messages and same day deliveries from amazon ugh we just don't appreciate anything anymore so maybe this video is a sign for you to take a detox from social media thank you for watching my vlog and i will see you next time Whew.